Microsoft List is now available in Teams application and can help you and your team organize, collaborate on, and share the information that's important to you and your team. Lists provides a great way to track information and keep your team in sync. To begin, navigate to the channel you'd like to add your list to. Select the plus sign and choose List. If it does not appear in your list of recent apps, locate it by using the search field. You can also add lists by navigating to the ellipsis and search for lists if it's not yet available for you in your recent apps. Next select Add to a Team. Search for the Teams Workspace channel that you'd like to add a list to. Select the channel and choose Set up a tab. Select Save and the list application will be added to your chosen channel. If you have an existing list, whether that list exists in another Teams workspace or within SharePoint, you can choose Add an existing list to replicate it in this channel. Open that list and copy the address, then paste it in the field provided. Use the arrow to add the list to this channel. If you don't yet have a list or need to build one from scratch, select Create a List. Choose if you want to create a new list from scratch, create a list based off an existing Excel spreadsheet, or use the columns from an existing list to create your new list. You can also use one of these templates to help you build your list. Templates come preloaded with common columns. When you find one you like, you can choose Use Template to add it and begin building your list and customizing it. We will start with a blank list. We will name our list first. Add an optional description, assign a color, and add an icon. Choose Create when you're ready. Now we can begin adding columns to our list by selecting the Add Column drop-down list. You can choose from various column options such as the text options. These are used to collect and show information. You have up to 255 characters in a single line or up to 63,999 characters in a multiple line. You can also choose options like location, which will use Bing Maps to help enter the information. Each piece of the address will populate in its own column in the list. Choose number to display, a numerical value or a percentage. You can choose a yes and no response. Use person to add a searchable list of users or group of users. Choose date and time to add a date and time. Choice allows a user to choose from a list of options that you have provided when you set this column up. Choose hyperlink to store an active link to a web page, graphic, or online resource. Use picture to allow others to add a single image file from their device to an item in the list or a library to the list. You can also choose currency as a column option. When you select to your column option, a pane will open which allows you to manage the unique column options before adding it to your list. With your column set up, you can use the drop-down menu to reorganize or manage the column values by moving them to a new position or hiding a column altogether. With certain column types, you'll have the option to stylize and format the data once the fields are populated by you and your team. Use the drop-down menu to choose column settings. Select Format this column. As a reminder, this option is not available on all column options. Each column will present different format options and can include one or some of the following. Background colors allow you to add background colors to the data that's being entered to help specific information stand out. Choice pills is similar to background colors, but offers a more stylized look. Condition formatting allows for specific criteria to be highlighted when it's input into the list based on the rules that you've set up. Data bars will allow you to input a minimum and maximum value, and a colored bar will appear behind the value in that cell once it's populated. With your column set up, it's time to begin adding items. Begin by adding a title to the item and then fill out the fields associated with the columns that you've added to save when you've input the information. Now that your list has information populated within it, you can use the drop-down menu to sort and filter tally, and group list items to help you analyze the data. Use the quick edit button to access all the cells within the list and make edits where needed. This is helpful when you need to make edits to multiple list items. When you have completed your edit, 
select Exit Quick Edit. Choose the ellipsis if you'd like to export this list to Excel and access all of the features and tools to help you manage and visualize the list data. You can also select the ellipsis to open this list in SharePoint. As a reminder, you have the option of uploading an in-progress or completed list that you've created in Excel. Prior to uploading it, make sure that you've selected the cells of data and select Format as a table from the Home tab prior to saving and uploading it to lists.